Hi, y'all. Uh, welcome to the Crypto Market Summary, where we're keeping a finger on the pulse of uh, crypto, NFT, and shitcoin markets by looking at the macro environment, looking at some news. Uh, you'll get the eye, uh, y'all, soon enough. Uh, looking at FTX's leaked balance sheet here. There's going to be a uh, little bit of section here just in a sec on SBF's cryptic tweets that are coming out. A little bit of a timeline. Uh, maybe a quick rundown of, of what's happening here. But uh, let's take a look here. I'll get back to this in a minute. The cryptic tweets we're looking at is SBF here on November 13th. So let's take a step back and understand what happened. So on, on November 11th, on Remembrance Day, SBF steps down as FTX CEO uh, as his crypto exchange files for bankruptcy. So this is FTX International and FTX US, as well as Alameda Research. Um, so this is two days after his uh, filing of bankruptcy. So he put what? And it was everyone was just lit up. 36,000 likes, 6,000 uh quote tweet six thousand retweets so every <laughs> what <laughs> um there's yeah there's and then he and then he goes on to november 13th he goes on and puts number two h <clears throat> what's going on and then the next day <clears throat> h a p p so he just keeps going like what happened i don't get it what's going on there this is not legal advice i'll get what I'll get to what happened, but for now, let's talk about where we are today. To the best of my knowledge, as of post-November uh, 7th with the potential heirs, uh, Alameda, blah, blah, blah. This is just a bunch of stuff. My goal, one goal is to do right by customers. I'm contributing to what I can do most, but first, customers. Clean up focus on make everybody whole. Clean up focus on transparency. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, FTX was handling $10 billion a day of volume. In billions of transfers, but there was too much leverage, more than I realized. A run on the bank and the market crash exhausted liquidity. So uh, what can I do? Raise liquidity. So he's trying to raise some money. Um, yeah. So he's raising liquidity, trying to make customers whole and do a restart. Why would you do a restart? But so that was what, 10 hours ago? So that was yesterday. Uh, I think there was a couple other tweets about that before. So I wonder, I wonder who's who's gonna who's gonna be able to give him the money. Oh, <laughs> Biden asked for more than thirty-seven billion dollars in Ukraine emergency funding. Now I don't know what's going on there, but there's some weird stuff. Every time I see weird stuff, here, hold on. Every time I see weird stuff, I have to get a little, especially with money. It means it's money. There's something, right? If there's smoke, there's fire. This is just one of the things. So this is conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat taxpayer, you know, gives it to the money of the government. Government gives money to Ukraine. Ukraine goes to FTX. FTX gives it to Democrats, and then they vote blue. <laughs> it's just it's just funny how the timeline works. Not saying that it's real, blah, 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 but nonetheless, uh, he raised his money. So maybe I'll fail. This is, then it kind of goes into the... Um, a bunch and then there's just a bunch of stuff in here blah 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 but what let's take a look at this so this is visual visual capitalist.com uh they always put out really nice stuff um so the crypto exchange uh, filed for it so on november 10th so the day before bankruptcy filings he tried to get a he sent out a rough balance sheet to, as to raise try to raise some funds you can see liabilities of nine billion you know there's usd in there uh B Bitcoin, Ethereum, Genesis, there's a bunch of Euro, USDT, so some stable coins, but these are liabilities, what he owed, liquid assets, this is what he could sell, or I, these are liquid assets, right? So less liquid and illiquid assets are, uh, are assets that all can't be easily sold at the current market price due to lack of liquidity. So there's some less liquid assets in here. Look at how big this is. I think this is all to scale FTT. That's not worth shit. Locked USDT. So you have to sell those with the, if it's locked up, you have to sell it for a little bit of a discount. Uh, SRM. That's a, it's a really weird one as well. Solana. He had a billion dollars in Solana. Illiquid assets. Like he had Twitter, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Trump lose. He had a, he had a shit coin. Um, shit coin. What a, yeah. What a guy, man. Enable betting on a market whether Donald Trump would win or lose the 2020 election. So yeah, I'll put this in the link here so you can take a look at it. But here, listen to this guy. 
Dave Portnoy. Listen, I'm out here in Toledo, God's country. I got to do a quick rant. I keep it quick. This guy, Sam uh, Bingy Bingy Freed, is one of the great fucking pieces of shit of all time. It's not just that FDX has collapsed and Almeida and, and he's just the biggest. It's the way he's tweeting. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. <laughs> it's fucking Sam the Afro fucking piece of shit. Hi, Hi y'all. Hi, guys. <laughs> and then a 10 fucking thread code tweet like, well, I don't really know what happened. And then his interview in the New York Times, he's like, I'm just going to play video games. Yeah, that's fucked too. Surprisingly, having no problem sleeping. Yeah, we screwed up. I guess we got no money. At least that's what people say. Bye, guys. Sorry, I lost your all money. Meanwhile, this fucking guy. <laughs> just sitting there playing video games, sleeping. What a, lo what a guy, man. Just loses that much money. It this is going to be the biggest comeback ever. There's no way he isn't. So what do we see? What are other people saying about him? I'm not conspiracy minded, but the fact that SBF is still on the loose and shit posting on Twitter after losing eight, nine billion dollars after committing massive financial crime. And we see softball media coverage of the events and Kevin O'Leary saying that he might work with him again. What the fuck is happening? So, but this was today, I think. Yeah, this was 3.55 a.m. today. Uh, FBI to extradite SBF to the U.S. Probably to get him to help build some stable coins. Some uh, central bank digital currencies, blah, 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 a bunch of memes. Oh, BlockFi is gone now. We all knew that. That's coming. They're filing for bankruptcy. Um, well, Franklin, that's like yesterday's uh, video about the uh, board apes. I'll say it once again. Franklin's not good for the bake community like at all. I've said it once again, and I'll say it again. My bags are down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, CZ, so I asked the uh, Financial Times journalist, why was the coverage on Seth SBF like that? It was a puff post. Uh, he said, I don't know. It wasn't me. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, we're going to get into crypto market summer here. I just wanted to kind of run that through a little bit and understand what's going on. Just show some what's, what people are talking about. Here we go. So what are we seeing? Green Mike not confirmed. We're still under nine hundred billion dollar market for total more total for coins. Um, that's pain. You can see that kind of coming and going. Shitcoin volume. What are we seeing in here? So shitcoin volume. What do we got? Three point five. We're getting a little bit of volume back. You can kind of see down here. It would took a little bit of a tumble. It took a little bit of a tumble on the on the chart on the on the sawtooth. But as to be expected, as to be expected, man, I don't get it. I say it every time. BNB's just volumes out of control. So what do we got here? 159,000 soul. So it's crazy that still that much soul is nothing. Uh, let's see here. So seven million for OpenSea. OpenSea is, I think, still the leader. Four million dollars for Blur. Blur is doing its thing. X two Y two doing its thing, and looks rare doing its thing. What are we at? Under twenty million. Above the twelve though, which is kind of nice. A couple ten day moving averages. A lot of red on this ten day moving average. Woo, woozy. Oil prices, got to see what's going on in the old Western Canadian select. It's looking like a bunch of garbage. Uh, European natural gas prices climbing, I think. Uh, Poland did take over, assumed control of some Gazprom, Russian um, Russian pipelines and infrastructure, I believe. And then there's a whole issue with uh, some bombs landing in the Poland, killing some people. Um, so there's some geopolitical tensions there. Uh, lots to talk about World War Three trending, but uh, I don't know. Here we go again. Uh, bonds. What are bonds doing? You can see the ten-year. They've dropped quite a bit. They're still kind of on a little bit of a downward tailwind spin here. Two years, kind of maintaining four point three. So that it's getting a little bit steeper here. The curve point five eight. Is that the highest? I think that's the highest with the ten to two spread. And that's uh, something else. I'm going to go do some ENS, Ripper and Ripper. So what do we got? Look at the 
Bored Apes came back from a 49 floor. I'm going to put, put 49.9 there. So if you would have bought Bored Ape at 49 ETH, you'd, almost, you'd be up like a, lot, a fair amount of coin. Crazy. They might, they're coming back for the CryptoPunk kind of... Uh, they're coming back for the CryptoPunk scene. The top one here. Like, oh, something. Mutants back over 11 now. Perfect. Missed that. Other side deeds. I don't know. Rumors of announcement coming. Everything else, you know, just down, down, down a little bit. Down. What do we see? Goblin Town. I'm more interested in these mid caps. Cyber Kong VX is 0.43. That's, that's a shame. Those are falling. 0.34 for Rug Radio. Anonymous on the way down. Wrecked guy. 0.37. Ether orcs. 0.28. My buys are not working on that one. CK babies, two ETH. Man, those don't those don't go too far under two ETH. ENS though, it found its floor, hey. It found its floor at 1.1. 1 .1. Not one ETH, but 1.1. 1 .1. Three digit palindromes back up. Or 999 club, sorry. Three digit palindromes, 32.3, emit one, consortium key, 1.24. And that's what we got. So pay uh pay attention to what's going on out there, guys. Lots of stuff. Uh crazy things going on. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.